uh, Doug with the Escal at Fabtech today. And so I'm at the ATI booth. Uh, so I've always been uh, aware of them for their tool changers, uh, the robot couplers. So uh, I'm here with Bobby and Rob, and they're going to take us through all the products that they're showcasing. So with that, Bobby, take it away. Hi, everybody. So I'm an account manager here at ATI for about two years. Um, this first booth is a demo of basically the flexibility of tool changers and how you can operate a lot of different tools with the same robot. Um, so that's giving you a little display of our locking mechanism. Um, and then this tool will pick up, um, this is a gripper, and it's able to pass air to that gripper in order to actuate. Um, it's also utilizing our force torque sensors, which is the silver puck um, on the robot flange there. Um, so this demo is just gives a demonstration of the flexibility and, and the different applications that you can accomplish with tool changers. Um, so we have a welding um, tool, um, we have a gripper, we have a deburring tool over here, as well as an orbital sander in the back. Um, and so that is able to switch between tools automatically. And you can imagine for those out there that are watching um, how much time this saves from having your operator go in and switch out the tooling, which you know a lot of, uh, a lot of facilities have, but this cuts so much time out of that um, yep. to be able to do a such a, a large variety of uh, applications here so and these days cycle time and flexibility um, seem to be the, the the high priority factors so this definitely can cut down your cycle time and just a quick one second tool change and on to the next application very cool all right what do we got next so next this is one of our uh, material removal cells oh, yeah. so this is one of our brand new products the cgv which is a compliant grinder. Um, all of our MR tools incorporate some kind of compliance. Um, so this is a grinder. It also, this robot will switch with an orbital sander. So this application in particular is welding down the beads that were um, placed there from the weld. And then once it's welded and it takes off the, the heavy duty material, then we go in with an orbital sander and uh, can smooth that finish um, down to a, a you know, safe to touch. So yeah, this demo is pretty simple, but um, you know, super effective because this, the CGV is one of our brand new products. Most of our stuff is pretty light duty MR. Um, so like I said, compliance, all of our tools incorporate some kind of compliance. So this is one of our um, biggest products. It has a little bit of um, that radio compliance there and it allows for um, you know, a robot path to be um, you know, tolerant to uh, parts that are that are coming down and when it's deburring, you know, sometimes you have inconsistencies along the edge and um, These are able to comply to those uh, fluctuations we also have um, Along with the radio compliant tools. We have axial compliant tools. Um, so this is a sander um, That's able to you know work with ergonomic surfaces rounded surfaces and be able to keep that constant pressure um, so the next booth, again, this is another one of our compliant grinders, but this is showing how um, we're working with Kane Robotics on how to use uh, a cobot to work with compliant grinding. And um, it gives you that flexibility of you know, having people be able to work around the workspace. Um, and it's safe enough to, uh, to be in uh, proximity to the robot. Great, and because that's uh, just an ISO mount, right? Yep. Then, uh, then that would fit very nicely on a uh, HC10 or HC20 from Yaskawa. So, a little shameless plug from Yaskawa there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all, all right, right here you so go. We're gonna, he's going to pass it over to uh, Rob Barron here, and so Rob's going to take us through the, the second half of the booth. All right, I'll bring you around this corner. This cell highlights our heavy duty tool changers. Uh, just as a rule, our full range of tool changers can accommodate robot payloads from three pounds up to 9,000 pounds. 9, so as robots get larger and larger, payloads get larger, 
we have tool changers that will accommodate those applications. What we're looking at here is a sample automotive application. Right now, the uh, robot is uh, working with a dispense head. You can see uh, it's a, a pretty complicated end of arm tool. So after it goes through its dispense cycle, then the robot will drop off that tool, be able to pick up this flow drill tool. So all the different fastening applications, we know that welding is being highlighted a lot here at the show, yes. but whether it's adhesive dispensing, uh, uh, self-drilling -drill, uh, rivets, flow drill screws, such as demonstrated here on this end of arm tool, all these different technologies can be accommodated uh, through our tool changers. Very nice. Excellent. All right. We're seeing here some of our smaller tool changers. This is one of our newer models that, that incorporates the lock and unlock sensors within the body of the master side of the tool changer. And we have electronic modules to be able to pass through uh, sensor connections uh, and other utilities. So this is again just showing some of the, the uh, range of smaller models that, that we have. This demonstration cell has been with us for many years, but it helps to uh, demonstrate the safety and reliability of our tool changers. So even when the air is dropped, that tool is staying connected due to our patented cam design uh, within the body of the tool changer. Very important for safety, yes. very important. Lastly, this is another general cell that's, that's highlighting both our tool changers as well as many of our material removal tools. In this case, you're seeing uh, bringing the part to the material removal tool. There's two ways to do this. We call this part to process or process to part. Both are equally effective with our material removal tools. And then you got a stand over here. What do you got going on over here, Rob? Uh, this is just some of our, again, some of our smaller products uh, showing uh, the tool stand accessories that we have for these. Again, from our smallest tool changers up into our heavier duty series uh, of tool changers. We have not only the bodies that will mount to your end of arm tool and onto the robot wrist, but e being able to hang an idle end of arm yeah. tool we have the accessories uh, that we manufacture for those. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for the run through. I really All appreciate right. it, Rob. I appreciate it, Doug.